All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And with today's video, I'm gonna be focused on the Samsung Galaxy S21's video capabilities, and in particular, the pro mode video capabilities of this device, because everything I'm recording, everything that you hear, everything you see in this video is only from the S21. I'm not using any external mics. I'm not using a different camera. It's all straight up from the S21 in pro mode. And the reason why I'm shooting in pro mode is because in the pro mode on the S21, you can actually shoot in 4K at 24 frames per second, guys. So 24 frames per second is legit. I prefer 24 frames. That's what I shoot with my uh, Sony a6400. It just looks better in my opinion, uh, but I do like that I have that ability. The other thing that I'm doing is kind of writing a wrong that I did in a video a few months back when I did the same type of video with the S20 FE's pro mode video. And unfortunately I was an idiot and did not upload that in 4K. So I had like a bunch of people like, you dummy, why did you do this? You're showing off 4K, but then I can't watch it in 4K. And of course, yeah, I had to eat crow and, and, and admit that I screwed up on that. So this will be in 4K guys. So if you have a 4K screen you can watch it on, welcome. So with the 4K24, that's something that I really, really like. So definitely a big plus. Now the beauty about the pro mode is that you are having the abilities to change and tweak a lot of different settings, just like you can on a mirrorless or a DSLR. So first things first is going to be the shutter speed. So with your shutter speed, you always want to double your frame rate. So since I'm shooting in 24 frames per second, I wanna do 1 50th, cause that's as close as I can get to doubling that 24. So that's going to give you not as much like motion blur and it just the movements and the motions just look a lot more natural, like you see with your eyes in real life. So you go too high, it starts to just look all wonky. And yeah, so I don't want it in auto because I want to be able to control that. Now, unfortunately, you are not able to control the aperture to get like that nice creamy bouquet background. Uh, like if I was using say my Sony lens, and I got down to like f stop two or something like that because I would come in nice and clear, but the background would be a little more creamy looking. Now, unfortunately, you can't change that. I've looked in the settings. Now, if I'm wrong, please do comment down below and let me know. Um, but I wish I did have that ability to change it down to like f stop 1.8 or something like that. That would have been awesome. Um, now, you can do portrait video mode and get that really blurry background with videos. But I don't really like portrait video mode. Uh, it just doesn't work that well. If you're moving around, then you start to kind of see little parts of your head and stuff just look a little weird. And it's mimicking like a portrait photo, but it's in video. So if I was just sitting here like I am, maybe it would look okay. But personally, I think this is fine. Uh, one of the nice things that you can do as well is actually change the ISO in pro mode. So I have this set down to 100 for my ISO because when I had it set to just auto, it was cranked up big time, it was super bright, and I did not want that. You know, I wanted something that looked a little darker because it is actually pretty bright in my room. I have some soft boxes here. I have some light coming in from outside. I have a plane flying over my house right now, so I wonder if you can hear that, probably can. But with the um, ISO, I wanted to set that down as low as I could get it without looking too dark. And I personally like to shoot it at 100 when I'm using my Sony a6400, but sometimes I might bump it to 125 or 160. It just kind of depends on the situation. But 100, I think looks good because I think it makes the background look a little bit better. I think it makes the light stand out a little more. I have some little RGB lights down in the bottom corners that you should be able to see by my nightstands over here. I just think it looks better because I've had it brighter. It's gonna kind of just flood those out because of all the light that it's bringing in. So I don't want that with the ISO. So 100 looks good in my opinion. Uh, you can do autofocus or manual focus in pro mode. So that's kind of cool. Obviously in a talking head video like this, keep it in autofocus. I wouldn't want to do manual focus here because then I would have no clue if I'm in focus or not. Um, you also have the ability to change your white balance. So you can do auto white balance or you can do manual white balance and adjust it accordingly. And I know what my softbox temperatures are. So I went ahead and manually set it 
So that way I wasn't getting any kind of um, changing in colors and just weird looks uh, with the colors because that's happened before when I'm outside and I have it set to auto because it's just automatically changing the colors uh, or the color temperature. So I want it set in stone, at least inside. So set that, so that's cool too. So at the end of the day, that's kind of all you get with it, you know, when it comes to the pro mode. So like I said, uh, I just wanted to do this real quick video to kind of show y'all what you can get out of this camera. If you are, like I said, someone that wants to start a YouTube channel. So please do comment down below guys. Let me know if you have the S21. Let me know if you're using that pro mode with the video. And then obviously I always welcome anyone to hit that like button, ring that bell and do subscribe. I usually post a video about once or twice a week. Lately it's been two videos a week almost but I have four kids, a wife, a family. So I'm trying to do my best guys uploading these videos late night, but uh, do, like I said, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. So there you have it. So I'll see you on the next one and uh, be safe out there.